Today we'll be going over everything that you need to know when you're submitting a dispute for the copyright on your cover on YouTube. So first things first, if you don't plan on monetizing the video and you haven't yet met those requirements, there are no issues with the copyright claim being on your video. This only affects you if you plan on monetizing the video. If you do plan on monetizing the video, you absolutely should submit a dispute for every one of your covers that has a copyright claim. There is no risk in submitting a dispute. The worst that's ever gonna happen is that record label is gonna come back and they're gonna say, yes, we do still have a valid claim to that music. What happens is a lot of the record labels don't review the disputes in 30 days and they automatically get dropped. So there's no reason you shouldn't submit the dispute. A copyright claim is not the same as a copyright strike. A copyright strike can happen when that record label comes back and says, yes, we have a valid right to that music. And then you push even further, you ask for an appeal, you get YouTube involved. And if YouTube upholds the decision from the copyright owner, then you risk getting a copyright strike. Otherwise, there is no risk in submitting a dispute. I highly recommend submitting disputes early on in the process. Although I don't have anything to prove this, I have to think a record label is more likely to drop a claim for a video that has 10 views versus five years later when it has 20,000 views. To submit the dispute, what you'll wanna do is go inside your studio in YouTube, which you can see here. You see I have a copyright restriction. You'll click See Details, click Select Action, and click Dispute. You'll click continue. Now, if you're doing covers on YouTube, you'll want to click the copyright exception, such as fair use. You want to click, I believe my video is protected. Again, there's absolutely no risk in doing this. And then you're going to want to select the option that pertains to you. So for me, I do a lot of guitar covers that have an educational component using an on-screen tab. So I select educational video. You'll want to select the type of video that best pertains to you, be it pure entertainment, promotional video, reaction video, etc. And then you really just want to plead your case and put as much detail in there as to why your claim should be released. So for me, since I do guitar covers with an educational component, I have some boilerplate language that I use every single time to put in there that basically says that I have an educational component in my video and my video would never be viewed as a replacement for the original song and watching the original song. Essentially, the purpose of my video is entirely different than the original song. If you'd like me to send you that language that you can use in your dispute, just drop a comment and I'll send it to you. You will then want to select all three of these put down your signature and then submit. And it's as easy as that. So personally, I keep every one of my copyright claims in this Excel sheet so that I can go back and look at what record labels are releasing my claims. So if I have a copyright owner, let's just say this one right here, it's releasing every single claim. I'll track that a little bit more tightly. And then anytime a claim comes up with that copyright owner, I'm certainly going to submit a dispute. I hope that you found this video helpful. If there's more information I can send you, just let me know.